Welcome back, everybody. It's me, Porter Rayleigh, here with you today. And in today's episode, we are going to do the scariest thing in Minecraft ever and go into the deep dark and try and find all the cool things that are in the deep dark and not be scared. Okay, our mantra for today is, I'm not scared, you're scared. That's what we're going to say. Every time that things get a little bit um, sketchy or uh, I don't want to say scary, hmm, a little bit traumatic. There we go. It's going to be, it's, I'm not scared, you're scared. Okay, yes, that's our mantra. Now, uh, I'm bringing a hoe so that we have, why am I bringing that? I can't remember. I feel like there's a purpose. Oh, yeah, 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 to break the blocks that we want to break. Um, I should bring, yes, I have shears as well for breaking our wool. We've got lots of wool. I'm bringing our ender chest. Our ender chest has a big, oh, here, you know what? Let's just pop it out and I'll show you what the ender chest has. This is all ready to go. We have... Uh, ignore these. These are actually for something different. We have Potion of Night Vision. Oh, that reminds me. Let's actually pull out a few of these right now. Uh, we'll maybe take four. We'll have four and the rest we'll keep in our ender chest. Okay. Potions of Night Vision. We have... Um, we don't need that. <laughs> Obsidian if we want to make a portal. I've got some ender eyes in case we need to get away quickly. Um, I've got lots of snowballs so that we can distract the bad guy if we accidentally spawn him in i'll actually bring one. Oh, i need to bring more of these as well i have a whole thing of i don't i have that actually that's fine firework rockets uh all the wool is in there there we go all the wool is in there i have an anvil so that we can put stuff on our pants if we find swift sneak i'm possibly going to make an um a snow golem so i brought a pumpkin and a whole thing of wood in case we need to make more stuff and an empty shulker box for all the goodies we're going to collect actually i feel like maybe i should have is this my right pickaxe? Let me just make sure. Yes. Um, maybe I should bring a couple of shulker boxes. So let's grab at least one more empty shulker box here. And we'll make sure that we have... Uh, oh yeah, and torches. We need to make some more torches. So let me see. Is this one empty? No. Where's my empty shells? Ah. Oh yeah, that one's empty. Okay, perfect. We'll just pop that into our ender chest and we'll make some more torches and i think i want to get some more food as well just in case so let's see um torches okay i have some torches here and i want to make some more torches oh i have lots of torches here actually i didn't see that stack yes okay lots of torches perfect and i don't think i've got any carrots in here no okay so let's quickly grab a lot more carrots just in case we'll go visit our villagers and grab some golden carrots all right, lots of food. Perfect. Let's go put a little bit of that into our ender chest. And then we're going to go. I remember I, uh, last episode, we did a little cheat cheats and brought up the coordinates for where the end city is. So we are going to go and find it. We're going to make a big staircase. What am I doing? Um, we're going to make a big staircase down. So that's, that's why these stairs are in here. So it's easy to come to and from. Uh, I feel like maybe I'll do that and I'll get rid of this one. We'll eat that one. Okay, I have my ender chest in my inventory i'm going to maybe pop let's pop that there probably don't need our axe okay i have a bed yes i have a bed now the coordinates were negative two three seven by negative five seven eight and i think oh wait um the other thing do i have yes i do okay good shield <laughs> Okay, I think we're ready you guys. I feel like I feel like I'm ready. I like spent a bunch of time between episodes just gathering all the stuff that we needed and watching other people do this sort of thing and hopefully I remembered all the things that need to be brought with us and um if not it doesn't it's really not that far away so it should be fine. I feel like we need to let's see we're at negative 249 and 50. So we need to go uh, I think we need to go this way. No? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that way. Okay. Well, if my calculations are correct, we're kind of right on top of the biome. That is weird because this is loaded chunks and it should not be right below us. Unless, I don't know, does it somehow fill in the caves that we don't ever explore because I'd never explore caves because I'm terrified of them um it's saying it's like right below us pretty much so I might just I don't know dig into that mountain behind us and 
staircase down and see what we find, I guess. Um, hopefully the coordinate thing is correct. Let me sleep off this night though first. All right, I'm going to dig in here and I'm going to spiral down and I will meet you guys when something interesting happens. All right, so I just hit, hit bedrock and I just found a bunch of diamonds down here, but um, no deep dark, which is concerning. So let me go F3 here. It was 237 by 578. Okay, so we need to... We need to go that way. Okay, I'm gonna dig a tunnel this way. Oh yeah, what level are we on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be it should be on this level. So we're gonna build a tunnel. Um, I guess in this direction, because I think this is the way we want to go. And hopefully we'll come across it. <laughs> That's the next thing. Well, you guys, I dug a lot of tunnels and stairs and I even made proper stairs all the way down to bedrock as you can tell there's a lot of bedrock below me to find the deep dark or like the deep dark city thing because this is where it said it was going to be the coordinates lined up and I was skeptical because it seemed weird that it'd be right below our base uh, but I trusted Minecraft and they failed me it is not here it is not here you guys I um yeah I think it maybe was going to be here if the chunks could have been reloaded I don't know why they said it was going to be here when it's not here um yeah, I had to dig around a ton of lava and stuff too, and I made a bunch of different paths that go nowhere in my attempt to find it, and yeah, it's not here. So I had to do, it probably to be close to an hour to go around and, um, or to go all over the internet and try and find out what I did wrong, and I finally found it, and... It is really far away. It's really far away. It's like 3,000 by 8,000 blocks away from us. And so I feel like what I want to do, and we're going to shift our focus because I think I'm going to have to build a tunnel through the nether to find it quicker, a lot quicker than what it's going to be to fly there. And I don't want to waste my rockets and break my wings, which um, uh, they're actually doing pretty good, but still, I don't want to have to worry about that. So instead, we're going to shift our focus, and I did another thing. I did a locate biome to find out where the closest slime chunk is, and we have a pretty close slime chunk to us because I didn't even think about this, but we need slime balls in order to breed frogs in order to get them to have tadpoles, and then the tadpoles we can put in a bucket, and then we can bring them here. Um, and then we get frogs, so it's a lot easier than trying to lead them. So I think that's what we're going to do for this episode instead, and in the in-between time, I will make a big trail through the nether into the deep dark so that we can explore that together in the next, next episode, I hope. That's the plan. All right, I found it. It is right below us uh, under this pillar of wool. So I think what I'm going to do is the most dangerous thing to do in Minecraft. Um, I'm going to dig straight down and hopefully uh, we want to go to, what level are we on right now? Yeah, okay, we want to make sure we're at 40 because they'll spawn anywhere below Y level 40. There's the word, Y level 40. I'm going to leave this pillar here just because, well, why not? And let's do um, a very safe thing in Minecraft and dig straight down. Yes, that sounds like a very good idea. Zoop. Uh, I'm going to do the two-step method where you stand in the middle of the block and you just go like this. Do I have a bucket of water on me? I do. Let's just keep that handy as well. All right, Y level 40. So anything that is going to spawn from here down is potentially slime. And we want to bring up our chunk borders. So I have to remember how to do that. Chunk borders, F3 and G. Chunk borders shown. Perfect. Okay. So we want to be, I guess, then this chunk maybe? Yeah. Okay. I want to go this way. 272. Okay. Okay. So 272 is right here. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So we're going to dig out this whole square going from all the way there, all the way this way, and make a big square. Perfect. All right, I've dug all the way around the whole thing, and now we just get to dig it out. Okay, I dug it all out. It's three deep, and the whole chunk is all dug out. So now what I need to do is go 24 blocks away, at least, and wait to see if a slime spawns. And if it does, then we got the slime chunk, just like I, you know, was told I would get at these coordinates. So that is my next plan. I'm just gonna, I don't know, dig in one of these directions and, um, yeah, go like... 24 blocks one way or another. Um, I really don't know which way. I guess I'll go this way 
Yeah, let's go this way. Why not? I hear slime, you guys. I hear slime. I dug a couple more uh, levels to really make sure that they'll spawn. And I hear slime. I think he's on the lowest one. <gasps> yes. Slime, finally. It took forever. There he is. Ah, oh, look at you beautiful slime. Yes. Okay. Yes, we have a way to feed frogs now. Fantastic. Ah, uh, this makes me happy. It was a slime chunk. I'm always a little nervous. Even though it tells you, yes, the slime chunks. I still worry that I got it wrong. But yes, okay, we have... Ah, oh, yes, we have 15 slime balls. Excellent. Okay, so I think I might just hang out here for a little bit longer. Let a few more slimes spawn. And then... Yes, finally. And then we'll go back and we'll get those froggies. And we'll breed them. And we... You know what? I don't even have to wait. What time of day is it? It's daytime. Let's just go now. Okay, you. You. Good. Now we're going to watch them because I don't actually know where they just put their babies. Okay, so which one of you is going to go to water? Do they even have a spot? What if I put some water down? Come on, there's water right there. There we go, there we go, okay. Yay, okay, he got his, uh, stop pushing me. He got his eggs there, she, whatever. Okay, yeah, just as I expected. They did not lay their eggs yet. Okay, so now they're both in nice, easy spots. That's fantastic. And I have tons of buckets, so I think what I'm going to do is fill up my inventory with buckets of water so that when those hatch, we are ready for them. And I think they can have up to four hatch. So uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. I can do two more. Doop, doop. Okay, inventory's full, so we will see if... <laughs> That's going to be enough, hopefully. I mean, I can always come back, of course. Oh, there we go. One of them happened. Oh, that was quicker than I thought. Excellent. All right, let's go down and collect these guys. Let's see. One. Oh, nice. I think there's a lot in here. Uh, let's see. Two, three, four, and oops, no, I don't want that. Uh, five. Perfect. I think that's all of them. Yes. Just as I went to bed, I heard them crack. And they're all born now. Fantastic. All right. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I got buckets in my inventory. Let's go grab those guys. Hello, baby tadpoles, you cuties. One, two. Okay, so not as much this time, but still a good amount. Three. Empty. Empty. Fantastic. All right, let's go back home with our tadpoles. And we're home. Perfect. All right. So I don't actually think I showed you guys. I finished our little frog house here and I added an outside enclosure around it too, which I'll show you from the outside first and then we'll go deposit these tadpoles. So yeah, I just did a little cute structure on the outside. And did you guys know that the, um, the new trees, the new, I can't remember the name of them right now, the new mangrove trees, the little saplings fit in the little, um, yeah, decoration thing. Anyways, they're really cute. I love it. Oh, and I did the drip stone to make the mud into clay trick as well, and that works beautifully. So up there is nothing at the moment. Everything is down through here. And our little entrance into the water for our tadpoles. So we'll pop them in here, and we'll just have all of them in this one for now, because that'll be the easiest. And then we'll have to make little tadpole sanctuaries um, in like a cold biome and a desert biome. Desert? Is that right? Like a hot biome, because then we will be able to uh, get all the different variants of frog, which is perfect, so we want that. And then we can put them in the nether and we can get those cool lights, the fluorescent light things, whatever they're called. The new lights, yes. Okay, get all those guys in there. One more. Oh, two more. I'm not counting properly. Two more. You and you. Perfect. Okay, that's all of them, I'm pretty sure. Uh, those are just water buckets. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Beautiful. Now we just have to wait for them to grow up to become frogs and then we can do the next step. And now I think we're going to wait for those frogs to grow up and I really want to take a couple of them to the nether once they're grown. And then we're going to get the lights because I have a biome that's perfect for that. Maybe what we should do is... um. Let's maybe head into the nether and make a little spot for that. Let's do that. Yes, I think that'll be next. Oh, I didn't show you guys our nether lately either. While we're going into the nether, I started making the hub uh, for the nether. That's like our gold farm and stuff. And I'll quickly show you what I've done in here. 
I've dug all of this out. I've got one of those zombie piglin guys to do the trades for the gold. And I did the ceiling, you guys. I did the ceiling. I think it looks amazing. It's like um that purpley kind of glass and the wool. And yeah, in with the... Anyways, I think it looks really cool and I will hopefully decorate it up a bit more than that. But like right here is our access to this gross biome. So why don't we dig in here a little bit? We'll make like, um, actually maybe we should make it one wide and then we'll hollow it out around. And then this will be hopefully where some spawns can happen and we can have a quick and easy little way of getting the frogs to eat those magma guys. Yeah. Okay, we'll just kind of leave it like that. Very minimal. I want to see I want to see if they'll spawn in here and then we'll bring the frogs in there and make the cool lights. Well, let's head back through the nether and watch our frogs. <gasps> frogs! Oh my goodness. Oops, I left that door open. Oh, they're all frogs, you guys. Yes. Okay. We got frogs. Oh, I don't have the slime balls on me. Um, okay, get back in here, please. I need to feed them now. Oh, they all turned into frogs. That's awesome. Okay. I'm going to empty my pockets and I'm going to feed them some slime balls and we're going to get some more tadpoles and then we're going to make some more, um, yeah, tadpoles and then we'll take them to different areas and make frogs out of the different areas, like the cold frogs and the hot frogs. <laughs> hot frogs. And we'll get all the kinds of frogs. All right, so I only have six slime balls right now because um, I haven't been able to get any more slimes to spawn. I have the spawning platforms. I got three platforms, so they should spawn. We're actually going to check after we feed these froggies if there's any uh, more slimes that spawn. But for now, let's get one, two, three, four, five, six of them getting some frog eggs. Uh, I hope that they can realize to go through there. Yes, yes, go in there and lay your little eggs. Excellent, one. There, okay, we'll do one more. There we go, okay, okay. I got three. Now, I really hope that these guys don't go. Uh, I have to watch. <laughs> I might lose tadpoles. We'll see. Uh, that's fine. Okay, let's maybe go quickly check on our slime farm and see if we've got any more slime spawning in. None, okay. That's annoying. This is not a very effective slime farm. In the meantime, though, oh, you know what I have, though? Okay, so in the meantime, let's go back up and get um, those leads. I have a couple of leads. We're going to take some of those frogs into the nether. That's what we're going to do. Let's take two of them. Yep, come on through. Come on. Come on. Got to go. One. Did I break it? Ugh, I think I... No, it's still attached. Come on. Whatever. Okay, we got one. Well, let's take the one. I don't know where the other one went, and I definitely lost a lead. Oh, well. Okay, I think he went through. Haha, <laughs> yes, okay. We got one. All right. Let's take him over mm -hmm. here. Okay. There we go. Okay. We'll see if that is going to be big enough. And why don't I... I don't really trust that frog off of there. So we'll keep him on there for now. Let's break that. Let's maybe put a fence there and we'll watch okay 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 there's a little guy in there yes okay can you not can you not can you guys please go away go away why why all right let's let this guy go Here it is! Oh, our first light! Oh my goodness, yes! Okay, we got... Or okra? Okra frog light, fantastic! Okay, uh, let's get rid of this. I think... I think I want to block that whole thing, because I think this frog might get out. Maybe I'll keep a fence post here for now. Because I should make a door. I should do like a door system. Merp. Merp. Perfect. Yes, there he is. Yes. Ah, uh, okay. We're just gonna let him be free now for I'll let him be free next we got the door here. Um okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Ooh, let's stop in here for a sec. 
I think we'll end the episode here, you guys. I am going to work on the floor in there so we don't get any more spawns in between episodes. I am also going to find our way to the deep dark. I'm going to make a tunnel in the nether to that. And I'm going to get some more frogs in here so we can get some more lights. So that's the plan. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm sorry we didn't get to the deep dark. Silly um, coordinates being wrong and having to readjust our plans, but that's okay. We had fun with frogs instead and learning a bit about them. And um, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!